One of the most well-known Bible stories is when Moses is leading the people out of Egypt. They find themselves backed up against the Red Sea and the Egyptian army is pursuing them and they are just terrified because there's nothing they can do. It's impossible. But then Moses says something in Exodus 14, verse 14. He says, the Lord will fight for you. You have only to be silent. And that's when God parts the Red Sea and he does the impossible and, and the people are saved. The church is in an impossible situation right now. You see, Jesus prayed in John 17 that everyone who believed in him would become perfectly one, perfectly united, just as the Father and Son are perfectly one. Here we are 2,000 years later, and we are the most divided faith group on earth. Not only was there that giant division a thousand years ago, but then there just from that became more and more denominations, more and more churches. And every day it seems to get worse. Not just churches, but now individuals that are teaching with so much pride, believing they're the only ones who get it and causing more and more division. And we've tried everything. We've tried the books. We've tried big conferences that'll bring us together. We tried writing doctrinal statements. but we just keep getting more and more divided. But what if we tried silence? What about a silent, reverent awe? What if we could humble ourselves? Like everyone who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and died on the cross for their sins. What if we could just silently, every morning, wake up in awe of who God is? just imagine seeing his throne, this being who sits in unapproachable light. The Bible says there's lightning and thunder coming from his throne. And even the high angels are covering themselves up head to toe with their wings and just screaming out how holy he is. What if we got back actually having a fear of God again. You know, like those few times in the Bible when someone got the opportunity to get like a glimpse of God, it's like they fell speechless. It's like Job when he said, I had always heard of you, but now my eyes have seen you. And he says, I'll just stop talking. And suddenly he was humbled and embarrassed of all the things he said that were so arrogant. What if we got back? to silence as individuals 
and we knew how to just wake up. What if we could become like that again? Just in silence, stare at him, recognize the enormous gap between God and us. Then we realize that it's, it's, it's not about me. It's not about what I want. It's, it's about whatever you want. recognize if I believe that you sent your son to die for me so that I could be forgiven of my sin and that his death was supposed to bring us together and that's what you want and God I want whatever you want I'll do whatever you want me to do As we did that as individuals, then we could come together. And what if God could look down one day and just, he could see his children truly in awe of him, huddled together in, in groups all around the world is to marvel at him. Just to pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. We want your kingdom to come. We want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. See, in heaven, everyone gets it. They can see him. And they're just in awe. There's just this unified awe over him. Our only hope right now is that we beg God together we say, Lord, we want it to be like it is in heaven, united around your throne. We want that right now, right here on earth as it is in heaven.
Jesus, it's my joy to call you King. Every time I think of who you are and all you've done, I'm captivated by the thought that you desire. Stand in awe that God you want to be with us.